Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about local function in C sharp. It is very powerful feature. We will learn what local function in C sharp are, how to define and use it in a book. We will also discuss why to use local function. Finally, we will talk about the guideline and its limitations. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Local function in C sharp. The local function are nothing but a function within a function that is declared, defined and used by the parent function. It is also called a sub function. It is introduced in C sub 7.0. So it is available in C sub from version 7.0 onward. If you see the syntax over here, we need to write modifiers, return type, method name and then parameter list. Modifier could be async, unsafe, static and external. But keep in mind that async and unsafe as modifiers are available from C sub 7.0 onward, whereas a static modifier is available in C sub 8.0 and later version and extern from C sub 9.0 onward. Default modifier of the local function is the private. However, we cannot explicitly write it. Now let's understand it the local function with the help of example. See the examples over here. There is a class program. Inside that there is a main method. In main method, I have written this local function int add int a int b and then performing addition operation and returning the result as an int data type. So basically, if you see the syntax over here, first we are writing the return type, then method name, and then parameter list. Here I have not mentioned any modif private modifier will get applied over here. Okay, so now this is the local function I have defined, and here in this second line statement, I am just calling this local function add, add x, y, where I am passing x is equal to 5, y is equal to 6 value. So result, after performing this addition operation, result, we are storing into this result variable. And finally, we are writing x plus y is equal to result into this console dot write line statement so that it will get printed into this console window. If you see the output, it is coming as a 5 plus 6 is equal to 11, which is the expected one. So here we are on Visual Studio. We have written one class program. Inside that there is a main method. We have just written these two console dot right line statement that I am giving the demo of the local function demo in C sharp, right? And then I have written inside this main function, I have written this local function add, where I am accepting two input parameters int a and int b and then performing addition operation and then returning the result of in data type. And here in this statement, I am calling this local function add passing the value of x and y. 5 and 6 we are passing into this add function which is nothing but the local function and basically we are invoking local function from so once it is invoked and give the output we are storing into this result variable and then in the next console dot write line statement i am printing x plus y is equal to result the result is nothing but the output that we are received from the local function after execute right okay let me execute this and see the output okay output got appear into this console window if you see the output 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 that's what we are expecting this output in the console window. I have written program class inside that there is a main method. Inside this main method, I have written this local function with a static modifier. This is the print function that accepts string parameter str message and return type is the void. And here I am just writing one console dot write line statement. If you notice in console dot write line statement, whatever the parameter value that we are receiving that we are printing, that it looks okay. But when I'm trying to use outside variable, which is nothing but here str welcome, is giving me red underlined sign. If we just hover it, it just show me this message. A static local function cannot contain a reference to str welcome. So it basically tells us we cannot use the outside variable inside static local function, right? Okay, now let me try to execute and see the output. Okay, so output got appear into this console window local function demo with a static modifier in C sharp and the Ravi that we are receiving as a parameter. That's what we are printing. So basically, I just wanted to show you this demo because I just want to show you whatever the variable that we are defining outside of this static local function, we are not able to access inside this local function. That's what when we try to use this str welcome it was giving me that a static local function cannot have a variable which is defined outside of it why use local function in c sharp 
there are various benefits associated with local function in CISA. Here we will go some compelling reasons why use local function in CISA. So number one, when we want to execute some piece of code multiple times within a method, then we can put those methods as a local function within that method. In that way, we achieve reusability and it supports the dry, don't repeat yourself principle. Number two, it makes our code clean, more readable and maintainable. Number three, it improves the performance. Next, it provides encapsulation. It helps us to protect them from anything happening outside of the function, meaning that they are hidden from the outer scope. Next, it provides access to the variables declared in the outer function as well as its parameters. So, we can make use of both, both in the sense the variable declared in the outer function as well as in the parameters as per the requirement. Next, we can use local function instead of the recursive function as a local function comparatively takes less memory due to the reduced call stack. Whenever we are planning to use recursive function, instead of that, we can use the local function because local function takes less memory and it boosts the performance. Finally, we can use local function as generic one. So, it would have generic qualities such as reusability, type safety and efficiency. Guidelines and limitation of CSAP local functions. So here we are going to discuss about guidelines and limitation of C-sharp local function. A local function does not support overloading. Access modifiers such as public, private and protected are not allowed. If local function is defined and not used by parent function, then compiler will raise a warning. So write the local function only when it needs to be used. We can also reference out parameters in local function. We cannot define a local function in an expression bodied member. Local function can be defined at the following places in C-sharp. It could be methods, constructor, finalizers, property accessor, event accessor, lambda expression, local function. Meaning, local function can be nested within each other. Now, that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we saw what local function in C-sharp are and how we can define and access it in a program. Then we talked about why use local function in C-sharp. After that, we saw some guidelines and limitations associated with it. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.